Hey everybody, this is Bodishan here. So today we're going to be doing a pH paper lab experiment together, but I wanted to go over the pH first. So here's our pH scale, and you can see that it goes from 0 to 14. Now, smack in the middle is going to be 7, and 7 is considered neutral, okay? In fact, 7.0 is neutral. So anything from 0 all the way to 6.9, we consider that acidic. And anything from 7.1 all the way to 14, we consider that alkaline, or you may hear it be called basic, okay? Um, either one works. Now, the farther away you get from 7, the stronger it's going to become. And that can work for an acid. So our strongest acids are going to be around the 0, 1, and 2, the farthest away from 7. The same thing goes for our bases. The farther away we get from 7, the stronger it is. So 12, 13, 14 are all going to be our strongest alkaline um, substances, okay? So what we're going to do is we are going to look at lots of different things um, to go ahead and test our pH of today, but we're going to do it with this paper. This is called pH paper. You can see that on the end, we do have an indicator on it, and when you dip it in the substance, it will turn colors, okay? It's going to turn one of these colors, and you can put that stick right up against it to try to figure out what color it best matches, and then you can see the pH level right above it to get a really good estimate about what the pH scale or what the pH is for that particular substance. So here's the substance that we're going to be testing today. You can look at them all. What I'm going to do with them is I'm going to take a clear cup and I'm going to put a little bit in the bottom of each one so we can go ahead and stick our pH paper in it. Um, now is a good time to pause the video and to make a prediction which one of these is going to be an acid, which one's going to be a base, and which one's going to be neutral. And then take it a step further. Do you know which ones are going to be a strong acid or base? Which ones are going to be a weak acid or base? So go ahead and pause the video and try to make that prediction now. All right, let's go ahead and do the experiment and see the results. So we're going to go ahead and start with water. So stick your pH paper in the substance that you're testing and go ahead and give it a second to start turning colors and then compare it to your swatch to see which one it best aligns with. This one was somewhere around a five to a five, a six, maybe somewhere in there. Go ahead and move to hot sauce. We're gonna dip it in the hot sauce and give it a second to turn colors. I wiped some of the spices off so you wouldn't interfere with the colors. Uh, and then you can match it up and you can see that this one's gonna be right around a three or four um, so very acidic hot sauces. Um, moving on to vinegar, go ahead and dip it in and we can start to see our results. And as we start to match this one up, you can see that it's very, very bright in color. It's not matching our swatch very well. So what I did was I left it to sit there for a few minutes and I came back later to check on it to see if it had developed in color. And you can see now that it is developed, it's more going to be along the lines of a four. So definitely an acid. Okay, we have bleach and we're dipping it in and instantly it's a very, very dark greenish blue color um, all the way at the end. It's either going to be somewhere around a 12 to a 13, most likely that 13 range. Um, so very, very big a base. And then we have soap, hand soap. And it's actually smeared on the side of the cup. So I'm just smearing it on our little indicator strip. And it's not turning colors instantly. So I let this one have some time too to develop in color since it is such a viscous substance. And this is what it ended up looking like. And you can see the spots on it where it had the soap and it matches up out of four pretty good. Next on, we're going to Sprite. So Sprite, we let sit here for a second. And we can see that if we compare it, it's too bright. So I did let it sit just like the other ones because I couldn't get a, a good match with it. After a few minutes though, um, I came back to check on it and this is what it looked like. So I'm comparing these. Again, it's kind of bright. I'm guessing it's somewhere around a four to a five, um, but it's, it's, it's hard to tell on that one. So here we have our glass cleaner. Glass cleaner is instantly this beautiful green color, and you can see that it's somewhere between an eight and nine, maybe even going into 10 as it sits there and gets a little deeper in color. Orange juice here, 
You can see it doesn't turn colors right away. Um, it's just a slight of an orange. So we can see maybe it's around a three or four, somewhere around there. Um, but I did leave it and I came back to test it because it was so bright. It was hard to determine those colors. Those yellows are very hard to determine right away. Um, so here after time, you can see it's definitely a four. Okay, going on to our floor cleaner. It does instantly turn colors to this bluish green shade. And if we go ahead and we match it up, it's going to be around a 10 or an 11. Last one, we have milk. Go ahead and dip it in. And you can see that it does turn colors pretty much right away into this light greenish um, kind of uh, yellow color. And it is a six for sure. So I hope this lab was helpful, you guys. There are other ways to find pH of substances such as litmus paper or a red cabbage juice indicator. I have videos on both if you want to check them out and experience those. Thank you all so much for watching. Bye, everybody.